local interest is Joseph Doss was his name, Olympic vice champion and a big leg. So apart from that we have lots of big legs in fact. We have uh, Tom Leibusher, we saw him running past about half an hour ago in his zone. Uh, Vanek Kopas is, is competing with a broken thumb, he dropped his uh, boat on his thumb a couple of days ago. Renny Holton Paulson has been there, uh, the double world champion 500 and 1000. Let's not forget about Fernando Pimento who is the reigning European champion. Most like Kurt Chess makes many many finals. Yeah I mean we've got worlds world medalists across the board in this race pretty much. Uh, a couple of guys going for their, their first title potentially. Ali Urenia there from Belarus has been a force for a long, long time. And, uh, I don't know why we're showing him. No, I don't think that's <laughs> Augustine. <laughs> Although he's, uh, he's probably the, the, the paddler on the best trajectory at the moment. He's absolutely come to the fore this year. Uh, young under 23 paddler, winning under 23 world champs a couple of weeks ago and now in a senior A final. Tom Labisher, obviously Olympic champion, has started off as a C1, 200 paddler, uh, pushed himself to the limit in the K4 and now he's trying different events with fun, I guess. Oh, I mean, he doesn't, he's out there to win every single time. Uh, race him a lot in the K2, 200 meters. So we hear the, uh, the roar for Joseph Dostal, the biggest bloke on the star line. I was actually had dinner last night with the Moroccan, Majan, who was uh, in his next lane to him in the heats for the C15, K1500 yesterday. And he said he's desperately trying to keep with him because once you're in his wash, you, you can't do anything. I mean, it's a big wash. Ali Urania, who's had a good victory this year, in fact. He, uh, he had, a, obviously, disappointment to not go to the Olympics, but then he's back with something to prove, and he's been on the scene for the last five or six years for all. He, he, he absolutely has, and he just hasn't cracked that, that world, world title. Um, he had a good year in 2013 in the K2, a second place there, over 1,000 metres, but this year he looks like he's a force to be reckoned with in his K1 again. Fernando Pimenta, no doubting what his tactics are going to be. He goes out fast yes. and keeps going faster. If he paces it correctly, he will really be one. To, to, to catch. As we saw the last, last year of the Olympics, he overrated it a tiny bit in the first part, but then people came past towards the end. Rennie Holford also had a very disappointing Olympics, but was the double world champion, as I said, he's been around many, many years. I mean, yeah, he's a 19, 19 year old Olympic medalist in the K2 from Beijing, but hasn't cracked that Olympics uh, since. Roy Rodriguez normally s flies under the radar, but often comes to the top four. Yep, underrated paddler, really good K1 500 beast paddler, so we to see if he uses that to go out hard in the early stages. Here we are, Olympic event, K1, 1,000 metres, Prachichi 2017 World Championships, and they're in the buckets. All the pressure on Dostal, he has underperformed in the 1,000 metres this season so far. Yeah, I mean, he looks good in the early rounds, doesn't he? I mean, Skip the Europeans.
Ibiza. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Before maybe you've gone out and had the relax quite enough, but you absolutely have had safe energy in the middle part of the place. What an engine. I mean, what a finish. Three, two, one. Well, chance of battle for Dos Saldo on home soil. I'm sure he'll reflect on that at some point. Prize for the good pacing today came down to Leipzig. We just kept Dost out of his sight for that middle part of the race. And then when he knew he could get to the finish, just go down. He had. Wow, look at that. It reminds me I was sitting in the commentary watching the Duisburg 2013 K1 500. Leipzig did the same thing. He took yeah. apart the field. But look at what he's done today over 1,000 meters. Holding it together well. I mean, absolutely, but over this Olympic distance, um, a thousand meters to do that is even more impressive than that 500 in, uh, in Duisburg, which was an amazing race. Alu, you any are there, taking four, fifth for Berlin Kopash. They'll both be a little bit disappointed, but they'll be fueled to go through the rest of this Olympic cycle. These are big boys, aren't they? Oh, these are pretty big boys, and the interesting thing is, you know, we see all the events progressing. But nowadays you need the speed to go on the line in the Well, Tom Lavish takes the goal for Germany. Fernando from Silva and Joseph 